Kim and Paul Walls thought they found their dream vacation home in Cocoa Beach. Had a beautiful view of the pool, uh, view of the ocean. At least that's the pictures and glowing reviews they found on Verbo, a popular for rent by owner website. They paid $12,000 up front for three months, never expecting the nightmare they found behind the front door. I thought but this is going to be heaven and it was hell. The couple claimed there were broken toilets, a leaking refrigerator, damaged blinds, and busted furniture. They found an old paint can supporting one corner of the bed. The slats evidently had broken, and this gentleman decided the easiest fix was to use a paint can. The couple told us all attempts to have the home cleaned and repaired failed, since the homeowner didn't respond to them or the rental company Verbo. They were unable to contact the owner and it was pretty much uh, put to bed. The situation so bad, Kim and Paul told us they left one month early and lost $4,000. It's just not fair. These nightmares start online. Most vacation renters have not seen the properties themselves and make reservations based only on the pictures and reviews they can see. You see this beautiful Florida home and this house really stuck out to us as a luxury home. Tim, who does not want us to use his last name, and his wife rented from a property management company handling high-end homes for private owners in a Central Florida resort community. But within minutes, on day one. And it was, it was sort of immediate. You, you see tears in the furniture, uh, stains in the furniture. He claimed the pool was not the one pictured online and the promised baby crib nowhere to be found. The couple told us the unit had not been cleaned. This the chicken bone they found on the floor. And when they complained, no one called back for a full 24 uh, hours. Both couples who contacted us made their decisions after reading very positive online reviews, but say they won't make that mistake again. According to Kim and Paul Walls, they wrote a very critical review of the Verbo listed property, but the rental company never posted that. Do you worry they're suppressing negative reviews? Oh, it's definitely in the back of my mind. These families both complain to Florida's Division of Consumer Services and the state attorney general, but say so far it has not helped. Consumer experts told us the best defense is uncovering the nightmare before you book and pay. Critically review pictures on large screens, ask for photograph dates, request referrals you can call. And how can I tell if these reviews are real? Look at the dates for those reviews. Are they evenly spaced? How many reviews are there? Is there any sort of rhyme or repetition to those reviews that could be kind of a, uh, a modified cut and paste situation? I contacted Verbo that told me Kim and Paul waited a month to complain so they were not eligible for rebooking and their review violated company guidelines so it was not posted. Both families told us they'll never book vacation homes again sight unseen. Uh, take a lesson uh, from us. Ask for the physical address before making a reservation. Then search multiple browsers for pictures and reviews from real renters who have a story to tell. Todd Ulrich, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.